deserts. I will define and describe them. Tell you where they happen. Explain what happens in the water cycle. And show you how blizzards affect people and places. So put on your snow suit and try to keep warm. Because we are diving into blizzards. Blizzards are cold to fierce snowstorms. They are strong winter storms. They last for three hours. According to Survivor Blizzard, they only have high winds, blowing snow, and low disability. The author of Blizzard stated that howling wind grow at 35 miles per hour. A blizzard is a type of severe weather and can be harmful to people and animals. During a blizzard, you may be snowed in for some days. Make sure you have all that you need, including a medical kit. In the book, what is a blizzard? The author stated, blizzards can happen in any place. It's cold winter weather, such as United States of America, Canada, and Russia. Blizzards can be caused by the wind blowing snow all around. These snowstorms are really cold and have freezing temperatures. The awful of disaster storm says uh, they are formed by cold air breathing warm air. When the warm air rises above the cold air, they collide. This makes clouds and snow and strong winds. So the next time you see snow, you can look for this type of weather and find out if it's a blizzard. Climate is patterns of weather over long periods of time. Blizzards have in polar and temperate climates. Wind chill affects blizzards. Blizzard winds can make 20 degrees feel like zero degrees. A snowstorm needs cold air and lots of moisture. Cold air and the warm air needs. Warm air rises over the cold air. This turns the moisture into snow. So if you're planning a trip, you might want to know what the climate is. So you're prepared and prepared. Blizzards happen in the upper Midwest, Great Plains, and Canada. Oh, Canada! States most likely to have blizzards are North Dakota and South Dakota. Of course, South Dakota. Minnesota. Tropical regions are always likely to have blizzards, like Florida, California, and Hawaii. Blizzards occur all over the world, but they are most common on mountaintop, extremely cold places. The water cycle describes the movement of water on and in and above the earth. The water cycle starts with the sun heating up the water. Evaporation happens and the heat from the sun causes water from oceans, like streams, ice and soil to rise in the air and turn into water vapor. It forms clouds. The second stage is condensation. Water vapor in the air cools down and turns back into liquid water. The third step is precipitation. This is when water falls from the sky. Towards the end of the water cycle, a surface runoff happens and carries the water back into the ocean and keeps the water cycle going. Once all the steps are completed, the water cycle starts all over again. Water is always moving. Blizzards cause many hazards. Hazards affect people and places. People could be affected in many ways. Blizzards make it hard for people to see when they travel on the road. People can also get frostbite from raw winters. People that are homeless and stuck outside are at serious risk. 
Blizzards not only affect people, but they can affect places. Blizzards cause power outages. Trees and buildings can cave in. Where's blizzards freeze the plants? And they die from being so cold. When the snow melts, they sometimes flood. Blizzards can affect animal habitats. It can flood where they live. Blizzards can be harmful to plants and animals. So what did you want about blizzards? Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.